It is a pity that in 2015 Chevrolet deprived our market of budget models, among which were the second-generation Avio sedan and five-door hatchback. At a low cost, the latter had a lot of competitive advantages. Let's see if any of them are reliable. The Chevrolet Avio T300 replaced the Avio T250 in 2011. At first, the car was assembled in Kaliningrad using a screwdriver method. However, in 2012, a full-fledged production was established in Nizhny Novgorod at GAC. In fact, the General Motors concern under the American brand offered us Korean Diwu models adapted for the countries of Eastern Europe and Asia. This fact did not harm their perception in the least. It would seem that the marketing ploy worked only partly. The car turned out to be of sufficiently high quality and inexpensive, which played the main violin in its future fate. Cars for the Russian market were mainly equipped with a 1.6 engine for 115 horses and two, to choose from, gearboxes, a 5-speed manual and a 6-speed automatic. Those few problematic stories of the second Avio, for the most part, alas, migrated from the first-generation T250 car. The salon is still full of extraneous sounds, there are sores in the engine and in the chassis. But first things first. The F16 D4 engine can be considered an almost complete copy of the Opel A16 XER. Four-cylinder 16 valve with two camshafts and a timing belt. Its vice is a radiator, whose honeycombs quickly fray against a closely located fan. The sore is treated easily and inexpensively with additional spacer washers. According to the regulations, the timing belt is changed every 150,000 kilometers, but we would not advise waiting for this threshold, it is better to change it early. On average, the motor takes care of up to 250,000 kilometers without overhaul. It is not uncommon for cases of excessive engine vibration, the reason for which, as a rule, is the oxygen sensor. And from the previous problems, TZOO inherited an oil leak from under the valve cover. This is noticeable after 30,000 kilometers run. It is not so rare that the power steering hose loses its tightness. Pump failure is another misfortune of this motor. But if the engine as a whole does not annoy something especially serious, then anything happens with the gearbox, as they say. It is curious that the automatic transmission in terms of reliability issues at least. But the mechanics throws up problems already on small runs. So, by the turn of 20,000 kilometers, the wear of the synchronizers of the first two gears may manifest itself. It is not very difficult to determine such a malfunction. When shifting gears, the car starts to shudder, and the gears themselves turn on tightly. Most likely the problem occurs due to transmission oil. More precisely, because of its lack. The manufacturer declares that there is no need to replace the transmission until the end of the service life of the MCP. However, at the same time, specialists more than once caught factory workers by the hand, who saved on filling or even completely filled in a liquid that did not meet the technical conditions of the car. In other words, when buying an Avio with a manual gearbox, the transmission oil should be changed immediately to avoid breakdowns. With the body, you can consider everything in openwork. In addition to the fact that the body iron here is far from being the thickest, there are no complaints about it. The paintwork is of high quality and does not attract attention for a long time. The only commonplace noted by many is the trunk lid. Over time, she begins to loosen up and walk on bumps. As a result, accelerated wear of rubber seals. And for problems, you should already turn to the suspension. Of course, they are not critical, given the abundance and low cost of spare parts. There are not many complaints about the brake resource. There have been issues with tapping calipers in the past, but those have probably been fixed by previous owners. But many are annoyed with wheel bearings. They have to be changed regularly. Generally speaking, we did not find any contraindications to the second-generation Chevrolet Avio. The car is liquid, the cost of maintenance is small at the present time. Plus, he's also a sweetheart at times. Suspension. A simple design could not provide adequate reliability. In front, the ball bearings of the levers quickly develop a resource, replacement of the ball joint from 500 rubles, which are fastened with two bolts. Solid blocks can also be replaced, about 500 rubles. But if all these elements are worn out, then it is worth changing the entire lever, from 2,500 rubles. Transmission. In general, the automatic transmission 6T30 is reliable. However, whims were also noticed behind her when the transmissions were switched on with delays. In such cases, changing the oil sometimes helped. 
another recipe is flashing the control unit. The disadvantage of the version with automatic transmission is increased fuel consumption. In the urban cycle, it can reach up to 14L-100 km. So long. Numerous reviews from Avio owners speak of poor cabin sound insulation. The problem was solved for additional money. Over time, squeaks appear in the cabin. There is a lot of painted plastic in the finish, which is very resistant to scratches. For everything else, including design, you can put a plus. Engine. In the range of 30 to 60,000 kilometers, there are problems with the thermostat. Either it breaks itself, or its temperature sensor fails. There was a squeezing out of the oil pressure sensor and failure of the ignition module. If oil leakage can be determined visually, then ignition problems are manifested by engine tripping. Electrician. There are not so many electrical problems. However, with high mileage, failures of attachments were noted. An air conditioning compressor, 23,000 rubles, a starter, 8,000 rubles. On runs of less than 100,000 kilometers, it is quite possible that the seat heating or mirror heating burns out, the power windows fail. The problem lies in the rotten wiring, 